Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is polygons in the coordinate plane. Okay, so we're going to find the perimeter and area of stuff. And anyways, our question right here is how can we solve problems by drawing polygons in the coordinate plane? Okay, so just uh, let's review some things, guys. Um, uh, the names of polygons depends on the number of sides. Also, the number of vertices, they're the same, you guys. So if there's uh, three sides, it's a triangle. Everybody knows that. If there's four sides, it's a quadrilateral. Some of you guys uh, ride quads, and it's a quad because it has four uh, wheels on it. Five sides is pentagon. Six sides is hexagon. Seven sides, probably don't know this, but seven sides is called a heptagon. Eight sides, like a stop sign, is called an octagon. Nine sides, again, another one that's easily forgotten, is a is a, called a nonagon. And I don't know if you've heard of this yet. A, a ten-sided figure is a decagon. And there's no name for an eleven-side. A twelve-side would be dodecagon, two more than, than a decagon. But don't worry about that right now. Okay, so polygons in the coordinate plane. So a polygon, you guys, is a is a closed um, uh, is a closed plane figure formed by three or more line segments that meet at their endpoints. And so a vertex is a is a, a point where the two sides meet. Okay, so we'll talk about all of these and the vertices. All the vertices are uh, of a polygon can be represented as ordered pairs, and the polygon can then be broken into a coordinate plane. So let's do an example here. Sheila wants to make a pattern of two different tile shapes. Now there's a picture in the book. I I didn't like the picture, so I didn't I didn't copy and put that in here. So uh, of a floor. So she first graphs the shapes on a coordinate plane. Okay, so so let's plot these points right here. So we'll plot three five and then uh, four six five five and four four, and we're going to connect them as we go along. Okay, so let's plot A. So here's over three up five. So two four five I think right there. So A says uh, three five. Let's see if we get that right. Yeah, that looks right. And then B says over 4 up 6. So 2, 4 up 6. We'll go up one more. And it says connect them. So as soon as I hit that, I'm going to I'm gonna connect it to B right there, okay? C says over 5 up 5, okay? So over 5 up 5, okay? And then we'll connect that. And then there's D. Connect that to A, okay? What's that polygon form? Well, it sure looks like a... Sure looks like a triangle to me. No, it's a square. Okay, it looks like a square. All right, so let's plot these points uh, and see what kind of figure this guy makes. Okay, so so let's plot negative 5, 2, okay, for P. So to the left, 5, up 2. Okay, so to the left, 5. Is that five? I think so. Up two. Now, you guys, you teachers, um, if you want a good activity for plotting some points that makes uh, cartoons and stuff, Cartesian Cartoons is an old... Uh, workbook that I use it's 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 great um, uh, for you teachers so I, I use it I use it after every test it's just a good um, uh, reminder of how to plot points and then they uh, plot some nice cartoons okay anyway so to the uh, Cartesian cartoons is what it's called to the left five up two will be P and then Q is to the left four up three R is uh, don't go anywhere left or right zero and then up three okay there's R there's S, there's uh, T, there's U, there's B, there's W, and then we got to connect them, so connect it to P right there. All right, so what uh, kind of polygon is this, you guys? Well, how many sides? So there's, we'll start right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight-sided figure, like an octopus, is called uh, an octopus because it has eight legs. So this is an octagon, a polygon with eight sides, okay? All right, so how is the number of vertices related to the number of sides in the polygon and the type of the polygon and give examples? Okay, so look right here, you guys. Let's go back. So here is four sides, four vertices, the same. Here is eight sides, and there's eight vertices also. So the number of sides in this and the number of vertices are the same, you guys. So... So um, uh, it says, uh, give example, so a polygon with three vertices is a triangle, and a polygon with six vertices is a hexagon. A polygon that has ten vertices, or ten sides, is called a decagon. Twelve would be dodecagon, D-O, and then spell decagon. All right, let's find the perimeter of this guy. So it says, uh, uh, the grid shows the path that Timothy, fo Timothy follows when he is walking from his home at zero, zero. To various locations and then back home again. 
So if each square represents one block, how many blocks did he walk? Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go from uh, home, which is 0, 0, to the library, 0, 4. So that is this distance right here. So that distance is 4 right there. Okay, and we're just going to add up the blocks. And then he walks to the library, which is um, uh, the library. I'm sorry, he walked to the library. And then from the library is over 5 up 4. So over 5 up 4. That's this point right here. So we'll add those five blocks right there. So let's add those. And then he's going to go to the park. And then he's going to go to the friend's house and then to the pond and then back home. Boy, what a day for Timothy. That sounds fun. Okay, now let's add them all up. Those added up to 22. So how many blocks did he walk? He walked uh, 22 blocks. Okay, all right, so here Caleb is planning a new deck for his house. He graphs the deck as a polygon A, B, C, D, E, F on the coordinate plane in which um, uh, each grid represents one foot. So the vertices, so here we're going to find the area, you guys, of area of this, um, this deck he's building. The vertices of the polygon are given. So what is the area? Well, let's first graph these guys. So make a graph, okay, and we're going to first graph 1, 0. So let's graph over 1, up 0. So over 1, up 0. I'll put the point A right there. Okay, and then now, notice I highlighted that in dark blue, and that's dark blue. So now I'll highlight this in dark blue and go over 3, up 2, okay? Over 3, up 2, okay? I'll keep going over 3, up 5, over 8. So over 8 would be, so I'm right here, I'm going to highlight this in blue. So over 8, up 5, so uh, there's that right there. And then uh, over 8, up 2. And then finally, uh, over 6, up 0, and then, and then close it up right there, and we're going to find the area, okay? So hopefully, you remember from a few lessons ago, if we drew this horizontal line right here, then we have a rectangle on top and a parallelogram on the bottom, okay? And so when we do that, there it is right there. So the area of a rectangle is base times height. The area of a parallelogram is also base times height. So what I did is I found the base and the height of each one. So here's the base of the rectangle. Five squares and three squares is the height. And the parallelogram is also five squares base, but the height is only two squares. Can you see that? It's only going up two squares right there, okay? So we just multiply those and then add them together. Don't forget area is always in square units so in this case we got to go look up here so as each square represents a foot right there so our answer is going to be 25 square feet okay all right there's uh caleb and mr ed having their barbecue all right you guys take care